this video we're going to be creating a Drupal module with JSON response. We're going to create an example module with controller and we're going to be returning JSON. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and let's jump to its code base and let's quickly create a new module. Yeah. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and create a controller under SRC controller and then let's call our controller JSON API controller. And let's place it in the JSON API controller PHP file. So it's a PHP file, so we're going to be writing PHP. We're going to be having a class called JSON API controller. And this is a class which would contain our JSON API controller class. We're going to be having namespace starting with Drupal then the name of our module Drupal up JSON API and then controller that's perfect and in our controller we're going to be having a public function render API let's call it and it is going to be returning the JSON response but for our JSON response, we're going to be using Drupal HTTP Foundation JSON response. There it is from api.drupal.org. We're going to be adding it at the very top in a use statement and json response that's perfect and here we're going to be essentially returning a new json response and here we're just putting an array in which we're going to be returning data and we're going to to be having some results so let's go ahead and create a private function called get results and let's just return an array here so here we say this get results it's perfect and we're going to be seeing that it's with method get that's perfect and get results is going to be returning let's say the best videos of all time according to Google the best movies I mean of all time and we have a list here I will quickly turn it into array so we are returning here our array with the best movies according to Google and that already looks quite okay the last thing we want to do is we want to create a routing YAML file so we are creating a new file the name of our module dot routing.yml that's perfect and here we're going to see the name of our module and a routing name could be JSON API and we're saying we're going to be having a path API JSON 
and defaults of this routing is going to be controller and our controller besides under Drupal the name of our module controller and then JSON API controller and the callback name is render API so we say like that and we're going to be saying title just JSON API nothing fancy methods let's just say get and requirements we say access true and that should be sufficient let's jump to our Drupal instance and let's try to enable the module and let's test it a bit as we search for Drupal up JSON API and as we install it it looks quite okay so let's jump to the path that we declared under API JSON and yes it looks quite okay so our API is returning data with the results from our get results method and we're having a method get and this is how you may create a JSON response to your custom controller. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, and please don't forget to click the bell icon next to subscribe in order to receive notifications for the new videos that I upload every Monday. Thanks for watching.